looking at the antenna control unit or ACU it's a 19 inch one height unit control module and the module is uh, supplied with the brackets to mount it inside the 19 inch rack and also with the bracket to mount it underneath the tabletop unit is also supplied with all cables needed to connect the unit so uh, depending there is uh, the power cord there is uh, ethernet cable there is a console cable there's rs232 cable and also the usb cable which is needed to connect your laptop to the front of the unit all comes with the system so looking at the unit first we see the power switch and as i explained already the power for the antenna is coming from the ACU unit. So by switching the power on the ACU, you will also switch the power on the antenna above deck. Then next to that, we have number keys, some function keys, and some arrow keys. And from the keypad, it's possible to uh, do a complete setup of your antenna and run diagnostics, the whole system can be controlled although it's not the easiest uh, normally uh, i would suggest you connect a laptop next you'll see the graphical display and the graphical display will tell you the antenna status if it's tracking searching initializing next we'll see the status leds three of them the top one the power led will turn green the moment the power is switched on the second one, the tracking LED, will turn orange the moment the antenna starts tracking. And the last one, the error LED, will turn red when there is an error in the system. The next, we see the control and maintenance. Now, in this situation, we can see them clearly. Normally, they're closed. There's a, a small door covering these uh, connectors. Looking at them from the top down, the Top one, PC port, that's the port where you can connect your laptop, run Aptus or the PC control software. Uh, do full commissioning of your antenna, do firmware updates. Uh, the second one, also a USB port, it's a DN port and the DN port is used to update software or take the log files from the ACU. It's good to know that this ACU will uh, keep a log file inside of all events going on in the antenna. So uh, there's, there will be about uh, five to seven months worth of information depending on the amount of data from the ACU to the antenna and back. And then there is the Ethernet port, which uh, again allows you to connect to Aptus, uh, do firmware updates, but also take the log files. And uh, from that port, you can also connect to the internal web GUI and uh, configure the port on the back of the unit, the IP port, the ethernet port, and set the IP address to connect to your modem if necessary. It's good to know that this is a DHCP port. So simply connecting your laptop in DHCP mode and the antenna will uh, be visible on your Aptus. Then looking to the rear of the antenna, of the control unit, starting again at the right side. A mini USB interface, basically a parallel port to the PC port, which is on the front of the unit. If you have that cable, you can run Aptus and do software updates from that port. Next, a PC interface. Again, it's a, it's a parallel port to the mini USB and also parallel to the uh, USB port on the front. So also from that port, you can connect your laptop and uh, do the full setup of the antenna. The bug interface port, uh, it is possible to connect your laptop there and with some uh, special commands, connect to the bug, uh, read status on the bug. The good thing is that with the Aptus nowadays, uh, bug status will be visible in Aptus software as well. Next, we have a Wi-Fi switch and a Wi-Fi antenna. The ACU is equipped with a Wi-Fi connection. So if you are in the unlucky situation where you do not have a cable to connect to the system, you can always connect by Wi-Fi.
Next, the Italian LAN port. It's a, a dedicated port for Italian devices. So, for example, if you have a VSAT system and you have a TVRO system as well, you can connect your ACU of the TVRO to this port, and then it's possible to use your VSAT to connect straight into the ACU of the TVRO and do setups or make changes. Then next to that, we've got three ports, the Ethernet port, the RS-232 port, and the console port. And those three ports are your modem interface port. So depending on the type of modem, you can select, you have to connect to one of these three ports. And of course, you have to set the right type of modem inside Optus. And by selecting the right type, the right port will become active as well. Then next to that, NMEA 183, the most commonly used um, heading device. So NMEA 183, uh, we're looking for HDT or HDG synthesis. So that's uh, something you have to be aware of. Next, the NMEA 2000. Uh, not all vessels, well, most vessels will not have NMEA 2000 yet. But it's an upcoming uh, protocol, so uh, the antenna control unit, unit is prepared to have that one connected. Then we have the modem RX, the F connector, and that's the loop through from the ACU to your modem. And in combination with the antenna RX, this is the N connector, or in this situation there is an adapter on it. Uh, the connector which connects to the RX port on the antenna. Uh, the only reason why the RX signal is passing through the ACU is since we have to put the 27 volts on the coax cable and also the communication from the ACU to the system. Then next to that, the modem TX port and same applies the communication or the combination of the TX and the antenna TX. Uh, the only reason why the TX signal is going into the ACU is to get 48 volts for the buck on the same coax cable towards the antenna. And then last, the AC cord, uh, 100 volt to 240 volts. So depending where you are, you can connect and uh, cord should be supplied with the system. To summarize uh, the key features on the ACU, uh, we've seen on the back the wireless connectivity, the wireless antenna with the switch, which you can switch on and off. The DHCP front management port to connect up to or connect into the web GUI and do the setup of the IP address uh, on, the, on, the, on the modem interface. We've got the LAN USB interface on the front. On the back, the Italian LAN port, which allows you to connect up to eight devices um, directly. So you can have a direct connection from different ACUs into this unit. The touchpad on the front, which allows you to set up the antenna from the ACU if needed. It supports NMEA 2000. And it supports all types of modem inter interfaces. And the system supports ABS, the auto beam switching. But that is, of course, depending on the type of modem which is uh, used. And the whole system uh, is approved by FCC, CE and Anatel. Looking to the inside of the ACU, we can see the filter board, the AC noise filter board with a double set of filters. Uh, filtering the 220 volts input for the 27 volts and 48 volts power supplies. Next we can see the antenna module, the antenna power module, 27 volts. So this module supplies the 27 volts for the ACU itself but also puts 27 volts on the RX cable, which goes then to the dome. 